Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to look at the fantastic oak tree fisheries. And they've not been back for a little while since they were in the league actually. And I'm so happy to be back. And what we're doing today, we're fishing hard pellets across to the other side to the first fish of the day. Just it's like a little light. What's a nice light? It's a beautiful line to start the day. Don't expect anything less from oak tree though to be honest. I'd in here some of the best I'd you'll catch. I'll show you that if we spoil beer itself when I get this or not. I'll try and show you. This is some of the best silver fishing around. What an absolute beautiful pi picturesque eyed. What we'll do is just un unlock this and get back out there and see if uh, see if we can uh, get into some more. And it is just a beautiful venue. This is. I think I'm gonna have to get my uh, my baiting tool because wet hands and tiny pellets equal a very difficult job to get the bait on. Even better if you know where they are. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't normally fish a lot of hard pellet. Um, on here I fish normally quite a lot of maggot. find it one of the best baits uh, on here, but the, if you do fish pellet, you've always got a good chance of the barbel and the tench um, as well. I will probably fish shallow fish a little bit later on as well, but I've not got any maggots with me, and I'm just soak some fishery pellets, just gently press them in. Don't press them too hard, so you can just put your pot in the water and they'll drop down as a nice clump. And look like... Right guys, when you've shipped out to the island, what you want to do is just rest the pot in the water out from the pellets and just lifting that rig, just laying it through that cloud of micros. Like I said, fishing a, a four mil fishery. Oh, I'm going to go there, look, on the drop straight away. Oh, just come off. Before we ship it back in, we're just gonna try that again through it, even though pellets have been in a couple of seconds. I'll drop them straight back down. See if we can get it to take before we go back and get some more pellets. And this kind of method, like most where you're fish, feeding it through the water, it uh, requires obviously feeding. Now you could ping four mil pellets and you'll probably get them a lot higher in the water. I'm trying to, this goes out to dead depth and we've got strung out bulk and we're just going to let, let that four mil fall through the water and it can either get intercepted or it can get picked up by something a little bit better lower down which could be that tench or that barbel um, and I'll give it sort of a minute in this position if it doesn't go under we'll go back and refill some pellets
Давайте на ВТ. Perfectly in the mouth. Let's get him back in. Let's get on. simple rig to be honest, I'm just going to rest it on that bush. Now the line itself is 014 reflow power um, and that's all the way down to an 013 um, reflow power and the rig itself I've got quite an heavy float, it's a dead ship 0.6 gram and it's like a little margin float but the reason I've got it so heavy is that I can bulk the shot underneath, I've got a bulk about six number nines and then I've got about six droppers throughout the rig um, spread out bulk um, of number tens and the reason I want that to do is so it can fall nice and slow through the water now the way I'm fishing it is I've got fishery micros like so and we're gonna just I'm just putting them into the pot and I'm gently just pressing them and all we're doing is just dropping them into the water dipping the end of the pot in and then just tipping them and they come down in a tight ball and we've got some of the four mil fishery pellets um, on a banded hook now the hook is a midi 16 uh, hook I love a quick gander at which one it is it's a midi KM1 hook to a micro press and band um, and I like those sort of size hooks you know they're just not too big and you know it just goes nice to that little small band nice and easy um, and the way that we just lay it in and let it fall through that cloud of micros <clears throat> and you're either going to get in a bite as it drops down or when it hits dead depth you're usually taking it within a few seconds and if not 20 seconds then we're coming back in uh, and we're repotting and going back out it's warm you know it's been warm for a little while now so you can put the feed in and it's important that you do keep doing that don't sit on it too long waiting for a bite because you won't catch one that you do need to keep the feed in let's get back out there anyway and see if we can snag a few more Going into another straight away through that feed it was straight on then no messing about Lowered straight through that feed. And he's on. Oh, he's a monster. It's a monster ride, is that one? Get in there, net. It's a beautiful ride, is that? That is an absolute cracker of an ride, is that? Boys and girls. So hopefully he'll Save yourself. Well, that is why you come to Oak Tree Fishery. What a beautiful eye that is. And believe me when I tell you, they go bigger than that. 
they do go bigger than that, which is pretty hard to believe, but they do. Personally, I'd fish touching four pound eyed, and I know that uh, other people have had them bigger in here, even to the five pound mark, which is a bloody big eyed, is that? I'll pull it back on. Sometimes, I don't normally use a banding tool, but sometimes guys, when you're using four mil pellets, um, it can become very, very difficult to uh, to put them on with wet hands. So I do, I do use them from time to time. No shame, no shame in, uh, in using them, if, if it helps you. But they're there for the tools. Get back out there and hopefully, have another one, it took it straight away and adopted that one. As soon as the float levelled out, took it. Oh, he's smoking hot. <laughs> Slow that pellet straight through. Fish. And I'll pick another eyed to finish on. Always good to you got a slope in behind you. Keep that all nice and well until you get everything out of the back on your rollers. There's another cracker in the net. Safely in the net. Another beautiful eyed. Perfect man and whip. A little bit of a technique there, especially with eyed. If you want to try and knock them faster, grab them through the net. Tends to get a bit of better hold on them. Well guys, I hope this one has been helpful to you and uh, definitely started to catch a, a few over the other side. Uh, it's just a really simple method of just dropping that bait in and letting your rig fall through the water. Uh, sometimes you catch them on the drop, sometimes you catch them uh, on the deck. Most of them, to be honest, today we've caught on the deck. Um, it's something you definitely need to know commercial fishing wise. It's something definitely that is used <laughs> absolutely everywhere. Um, and you know to, to, to great effect. What I'm going to do now is continue to fish, hopefully I'm going to feed a short line in paste and fingers crossed the old barbel will, will, will rock up but thank you very much for watching. If you want to see any of those other videos then have a look on the Angling For You uh, YouTube page. If you want to look at um, anything to do with phot photos, go on as Instagram uh, angling underscore for you and if you want to come on the group, um, join members days ask questions then come on angling for you on facebook along with the angling for you buy and sell and uh, meet and be part of um, a massive growing angling for you family and if you could like share and subscribe that would be fantastic and until the next one guys thank you very much for watching that one.